We are just under two weeks into the Thanksgiving update for 2022 and read that online and most folks I'm sure formed an opinion immediately on this update, but I want to visit this topic again with you all now and this community video will showcase what players really think of the naturalist and the November update in read that online. Did this one meet expectations? Did it exceed expectations? Was it pure garbage? We're going to be talking about it all in this video. Massive shout out to everyone who participated in my community post and took their time to give their own genuine responses. It took a ton of time to read through, but I really enjoyed reading everyone's comments and thoughts. There were so many different opinions, so hopefully this video reflects that and captures that same energy. So with that said, let's get started. If you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it insightful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, then consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. Jumping right in, coming from user GL, he says, My friends who are vets came out of retirement for the Halloween Call to Arms maps. This month, they've all gone back into hibernation. I'm ranking up the naturalist role on my alt account, so at least I have that to keep me going, but I haven't felt like playing in the last four days. And I think that's where a lot of players kind of are right now. They may be playing a few days here and there, but they're gonna be taking major days of gaps in between, just taking breaks from the game. And I definitely encourage that because if you're just like forcing yourself to play this game, then you're gonna start to hate it and resent it over time. There's a ton of other amazing games out there right now that you could be playing as well. And so really, only play this game when you get the urge to, right? Just like any other game you would be playing. If you want to play it, you'd probably play it, right? And when you don't want to, then you don't have to. And that's the beauty of it all. But it's good to hear that your friends played the Halloween Call to Arms maps with you. Hopefully we get something soon where they're able to make their way back into the game. Fade Time, another commenter said, I'm just happy that we got the Tied Pants back. That's all I wanted. All I wanted was one of the limited clothes I missed to come back, and I got it, which is fantastic. I'm actually really happy for you. I feel like we should be getting more limited stock clothing in this game, one for your sake to get the items that you're, you know, kind of seeking and that you've sought after for a long time, but also for everyone else, because I feel like with the way things are right now, we're only getting very, very minuscule amounts and trivial amounts and minimum amounts of limited stock clothing here in this game. They should be doing more in that regard with these monthly events, considering there's actually so many pieces of clothing to work through. It would take a long time to get through all this stuff anyway and so we should be having like 10 or 15 pieces for each event month or maybe a couple pieces that cycle in and out by the week but as it stands right now you got the tied pants and that's amazing next up shiva says i started playing this game way later than most so i'm happy for any updates thanks for the videos and i appreciate the support for what i do here on the channel shiva um if you're just getting into this game now of course you'll hear a lot of people saying that it's boring and there's nothing to do but if you're coming in new to this game there is actually so so much to do it will take you months to get through it all while you rank up all the roles while you just get to you know immediately unlocking all the initial ranked up items and unlocks and equipment and all that once you hit level 100 then it's about stacking gold and currency to kind of get everything else in the game that you're seeking customizing your weapons maxing out the roles etc and so there is definitely a lot to do in this game when you're coming in fresh so hopefully you enjoy the seasons moving forward here with these monthly updates after that, Fake Gamer Cat says double money on stuff is nice. I'm still hoping they do a Christmas update like last year with the snow, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna do that. Ever since 2019, in Red Dead Online, or at least winter and the Christmas update for 2019, 2019, 2020, 2021, and probably 2022, we're gonna have snow here in the multiplayer world and out on the frontier. I'm not sure what the actual Christmas update itself is gonna be like. We're gonna get the snow, we're probably gonna get the Christmas call to arms, and hopefully, my desire here is that we also get new Christmas call to arms maps, and even a Christmas themed telegram mission. I feel like that would be really cool to see in this game. Moving on, Nolan P says, I just got back into it after two years, found out my sister could not play because her internet was Mediacom. She's using her mobile hotspot through Verizon to play the game online with me now, so it feels good to be back. However, I was hoping for more, but I'll take what I can get. And I'm kind of in that same boat. I'm definitely hoping for more. I'll take what I can get. That's crazy to hear that your sister wasn't able to play the game because of her internet, though. And what's also kind of just unbelievable, because I responded to an email a couple weeks ago about this, too, from a player who kind of had problems playing online, but a mobile hotspot actually fixed the issue. A mobile hotspot should be less reliable internet than just straight up using your ethernet cord or a Wi-Fi adapter and connecting at your router in your house. But some people using like VPNs or opening up their NAT type or using mobile hotspots will solve a lot of the connectivity issues in Red Dead Online that should make your internet connection less stable and have slower speed. So for most online games, like competitive, like Call of Duty or something, you probably wouldn't want to use it. But for something like Red Dead or GTA, 
it just solves those problems. So it's good to hear that that is not an issue anymore. Ariste Omata says the payouts are terrible and online. Every role is entertaining and time consuming, but worth playing. Just started playing online this October and fell in love with the game all over again since I played the story in 2018. How can Rockstar just abandon such a beautiful game like this? The game would have topped off GTA Online if there would have been more promotion to play this game. Rip Red Dead, simply a masterpiece worth playing. And that is definitely true. It is a true masterpiece. Both, I think, Red Dead Redemption 2 and also the online component, Red Dead Online. The game is extremely entertaining. It is time consuming to get the things you want if you're looking for them, to, but I do find you're able to get up to speed a lot faster and much quicker than trying to get up to speed with all the businesses in GTA Online. That's one thing I really enjoy about Red Dead Online, just the way the whole multiplayer world interacts with itself compared to GTA when you try and play different activities, you got a lobby hop and all that. But welcome to the game. I see you just play, started playing this October and I'm glad you're loving every bit of it. Moving on, Dominic. Damon says, I've been playing online for a year now on my main character. I maxed out every role quite quickly because it was enjoyable. I think I bought the naturalist role around nine months ago and I still haven't maxed it because I simply hate it. So this month isn't for me. So I started a second character a few weeks ago and the October update was a lot of fun with a brand new character, but I can't be bothered with this one for one of my main characters. Just waiting on December and hoping for at least some good bonuses, limited time, clothing returning and snow, of course. I really do hope at some point we see some outlaw passes and stuff return since the only thing I have is Halloween Pass 2. A lot of players who were kind of just getting into this game, or at least since some of those older Halloween Passes or other Outlaw Passes came into the game, they're getting up to speed with those. I'm not sure if Rockstar is going to re-release those at some other point like they did for Halloween Pass 2, but hopefully they do do something like that for these limited time events, bring back one of the older Passes, especially if they're not going to be developing new Passes for the time being and for at least the rest of this year. A lot of players also feel like Naturalist isn't obviously their most favorite role, and when I asked players what it was like, I think it came in to, I think, players' least favorite role in the game. But the bonuses for this month honestly make it a little bit better to do. And like I said in my money guide video, if you have the naturalist role, use that to basically supercharge your trader role. That's kind of how you got to think about it. But also, I know you don't like the role, Dominique, but if you are having trouble ranking up just because you don't actually enjoy playing it, you got to take advantage of these bonuses because then you can get it out of the way and then you never need to touch it again. You get to enjoy all the equipment that you unlock as you rank it up. And some of those things are useful outside of the naturalist role. So I definitely would advise that if you can stand it because a lot of these things are having double XP and things like that. And so you might as well take advantage, rank up that naturalist role a little bit quicker. And I have some guides on my channel that you can check out for that as well. But I'm glad to hear you're playing on an alt account just to keep the game fresh. Give yourself some extra challenges here in game. That's good to hear. I play on an alt account too here now and again because I find, I, you know, I just don't want to put all the time into my main account anymore. I want to start a new adventure on a new character. So basically with that said, that is how the Red Dead Online community feels about Rockstar's Red Dead Online Thanksgiving update for 2022. There's more to cover Tuesday with the new weekly update, including some free items and rewards. So definitely stick around for that video. And thank you so much for watching everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed this one today. And if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, then consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on so you don't miss out a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks. And we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. And you're more than welcome to ask many questions on those platforms. You can follow me at Hazardous HDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.